I turned 30 a few months back. Then I realized that I spent my 20s and I have a lot of experience to share with people. Moreover, share the kind of information that I would have told my 20 year old self. To make it easier, I have shared 10 pointers. Number one is double cleansing because on the days when you are wearing makeup or on the days when you have applied any kind of skincare on your face and have gone out of your house, the minute you step outside, there is pollution, there is dirt and it sticks to your face. Ultimately, if you don't clean your face properly, it is going to cause acne breakout. So to avoid that, what would you do is do double cleansing. What do you mean by double cleansing is cleansing your face two times. Usually the first one is an oil based cleanser. When it's oil based, it's going to basically break down all the gunk on your skin. You have applied makeup, it is going to break that down as well. The most basic thing that you can do is use virgin cold press coconut oil. I know it's um, sounding as if I'm making things more difficult and sound more pricier than necessary but trust me your face cannot deal with regular coconut oil because it's going to break you out opposed to that a virgin cold pressed coconut oil is going to get removed when you are actually trying to remove it you take a little amount of oil on your palm you warm it up and then you start rubbing it all around your face and neck basically anywhere that you have applied makeup you can start rubbing it in slowly you'll see the makeup is going to break down after that what you do is you take any kind of napkin that you have in your house which is a little coarse a little thicker you basically wet it in hot water uh, ensure that you don't burn yourself but you dip it in hot water you wring it and then you put it on your face and clean your face that is going to be your step one. Second step is going to be any kind of face wash that you are using put it on your palm rub your hands together put it on your face clean it the napkin process is going to remove all the oil before the cleanser is put on your face so the cleanser has to do very minimal job if you are not okay to put coconut oil on your face or you have a little budget what you can do instead is buy a cleansing balm don't forget to double cleanse your face every time you go outside if you can't do it every time you go outside at least start doing it when you apply makeup any kind of makeup that goes on your face if it's not cleanse eventually is going to clog your pores instead put few more minutes and do double cleanse it will help you a lot using a gentle cleanser or a gentle face wash on your face the reason why there are gentle cleanser and gentle face washes because foamy face washes are really not going to help you it's going to break down your skin barrier your oily skin which you feel that should be squeaky clean it's not bathroom floor or it's not bathroom tile or it's not your floor uh, which has to be squeaky clean it it is okay if it's a little damp it's a little moisturized if it feels a little softer than squeaky clean because it is not supposed to be the every time that you wash your face with a foamy cleanser please notice the kind of tightness that you feel after your skin dries after you wash it off it is not good for you instead buy a gentle cleanser the most recommended gentle cleanser uh, cetaphil gentle cleanser it's a cream based gentle cleanser it does not have any kind of soap i mean it has some kind of ingredient which helps clean our face but it is not going to be that foamy face wash so you take like one pump you can buy a smaller uh, face wash also you can take like a coin sized amount on your palm emulsify the face wash or the cleanser put it on your face massage it wash it off with warm water not hot water it will not help you if you start using hot water on your face it is going to do more harm than good so please do not use hot water so the set of gentle cleanser is the one i started using when i thought i had or actually i did i had oilier skin before I, or even right now i do but it is more of combination than purely oily my skin sort of jumps in between the both because stress can initiate oil secretion on your face more than usual uh, so that is a main reason why uh, using 
a cleanser made for sensitive skin has helped me a lot. I stopped using Cetaphil oil cleanser. I started using Cetaphil gentle cleanser that is meant for sensitive skin. It can be used on your body if you have breakouts. It is really really gentle and it cleanses your skin. It does the job and it does the job so well that it helps restore that barrier of your skin which is really crucial to keep your skin well. I have taken fair share of my money and spend it on the wrong products. Now that I know that it is not necessary, I can basically tell you what you don't need is eye cream you do not need to buy a separate eye cream your under eyes are most probably looking like that because you have not slept well and there is no medicine to make it look better you anyways are using moisturizer and you can apply a little more amount of moisturizer under your eye if you want i basically don't feel that it's necessary instead of spending a lot of money behind eye creams because eyes <laughs> because eye creams are not cheap basic the most basic good eye cream is going to be 400 rupee instead go for a good moisturizer invest in a good moisturizer and it will do the trick since i'm already sharing what affordable or like nearly cheap options are out there zero cost product i can literally give it to you in right icing your face is never going to do any harm to any kind of face type to any kind of age group of course not kids i'm talking about 20 and up so uh, please don't come at me with like ah, kids cannot use this it's harmful and this and that i really i'm not talking about kids i am talking about people in their 20s the most no cost trick that you can do on your face and it's going to do good why because it deep puffs your face if you put it under your eyes it deep puffs your uh, eye bag if it's due to um, any kind of bloating right if naturally you have eye bags i am not sure if icing is going to help it but if it's temporary bloating icing really helps the thing ice cube does is it temporarily tightens your skin reduces the pores so if you are doing makeup and you need your pores to be closed you will have to ice your face then do skincare then your primer and everything that goes into makeup the reason why i'm thankful to ice is i had those like tiny pus filled bumps on my face and it was all over my face three dermats couldn't figure out what's wrong with my face few were just saying it's some kind of infection few were saying that it's sort of like an auto immune reaction to something something like that and they just couldn't figure out one colleague just randomly said um, try icing your face maybe it will settle down bumps will settle down and i was like i really don't think that is going to help because in my mind i have tried three three best dermats in around my area trust me that icing helped with the reduction and basically vanished my uh, bumps so uh, really thankful to that office colleague not all free things are going to be bad for you now my fifth tip is a little tricky to understand but there is a system in our body which is called lymphatic system is like a connection of tiny tube around your body which help drain fluids from your body there are this points on your body the the fluids get drained into that point and it helps drain that fluid out of your body now what happens if your lymphatic system is not at its best or not working your face bloat you are fit otherwise and your only your face is bloating it's most probably because there is some kind of error in your lymphatic drainage so look into how to do lymphatic massages on your face uh, i'll just give you like a tiny example so there is one lymphatic drainage right here what you do is you start by patting your underarm and then you start massaging your neck towards this point you massage and drain it towards your armpit then you start with your face you basically massage your face outwards and then you drain this all of this right here so what happens is all the lymphatic fluid that's been stuck on your face is getting drained to that point so now this is just one point of your lymphatic drainage system there are many other tips and tricks that can be followed for this lymphatic drainage it's a little technical so do your own research before listening to me i would urge a 20 year old to understand and know all these things because um, this really helps since we are on the point of face massages let me show you okay 
there is a tool called gua sha this is made of jade stone i'm not quite sure how true it is but uh, it is quite pricey if it falls it breaks because it's stone there are various materials this comes in there, there is also a metal gua sha available i have it but it's stored somewhere else so uh, unfortunately i can't show it to you uh, i bought the metal gua sha because my first pricey jade um, gua sha it broke and i was heartbroken so i bought a metal one but metal one is it's a little tricky to use it hurts your face if you don't use it in the right way as i told you you massage your face now this fits like this this can be on like to sculpt your face or to sculpt your eyebrows and when you massage it flip it and you take it down right here right you drain it on the lymphatic drainage point so that's how you can use gua sha there is another um, sort of like its brother in terms of tools is uh, jade roller now jade roller is good i mean i'm not saying it's bad but it's pointless why because it's just a roller that rolls on your skin it makes you feel good there is no other purpose of that jade roller it will not help you to drain any kind of fluids on your face if that is what why you are using it initially i bought the jade roller because uh, i thought that it is going to be a little easier it is going to be less painful it is going to be less tedious hence i bought the jade roller but it is pointless to use jade roller do not buy jade roller buy a gua sha another product that i have wasted my money into but there are other ways to achieve that result without the product is lip scrub a lip scrub is basically a scrub a physical scrub that you apply on your lip and then you scrub it and then you apparently your lips are good as new pink soft no scrub does not help you do that if you are really interested in taking the dead skin off your lips what you can do is when you go for a shower your lips are all nice and moist you can just simply use your finger very gently rub your lips the dead skin is going to come off if it's not coming off with your finger most probably that dead skin is a little uh, tough to remove but don't pull on it or anything it's going to basically break the skin of your lip so you can take like a towel wrap it around your finger and then gently remove it and that is going to do the trick if you still need a physical scrub you can take any kind of a little coarse flour rice flour besan masoor powder what you can take whatever you have put a little bit of honey in it mix it apply it on your lip and then start scrubbing it don't waste your money over lip scrubs it is not going to help you give any different result it is going to just do what a finger a towel or like any kind of flour mix with honey or any kind of sugar mix with honey is going to do so do not waste your precious precious money on lip scrub i feel there are so many more things that you know can be learned that a very early age maybe before 20s uh, so just in case you guys are really interested this is a good time to pause this video and go like the video because your likes help me understand that okay you are actually liking this kind of video and i can create more since i am planning to create only those kind of videos which you guys are really enjoying instead of making the videos which i feel you guys might like if there is a slight chance that i can understand what you guys actually like it will be really helpful for me this point is so crucial to remind your younger self or a relative you have nieces nephews i mean people are really careful about their skin these days it is not a gender specific thing these days but a young person understands all these points acne care or acne tips are never one size fits all why am i saying this to you is a person who battles with acne uh, i'm you i'm using the word battles with acne because it it is it is so heartbreaking it is painful thing to have on your face it demotivates you it brings down your confidence it is so bad for a young person to battle with acne and be okay with it there are very very few people who are okay with acne all you can do is go to the right person that's a dermat which can help you figure out what is this acne about at least if not dermat will tell you what not to do with your face um, in case you have acne it's the most basic acne thing go and um, do your home remedies first but if your face is filled with acne is painful there's cystic acne there's types of acne i can't even remember all of them but just in case you are unable to figure what's wrong with your face and you feel very demotivated very 
uh, your confidence is brought down by it you don't feel comfortable in your own skin please go to a dermat he or she is the right person to guide you help you if nothing they'll tell you what not to do with your skin and um, you know after trying a few ways you'll understand okay um, this thing is working out for me this thing is not working out for me and only after trying uh, with the right guidance you are going to understand what is it that you have on your face what type of acne do you have on your face and then uh, it will be so much more easier uh, it will bring up your confidence it will just help you in every other way so um, go to a good dermat the most basic thing you can do with an acne is not touch it don't squeeze it don't pop it it is not going to help you it's not going to go away you might feel that it's going to go away it is not going to go away do not go to salons do not go to parlor aunties for clean up it will not help you instead go to a dermat ask him or her to give you a good skin care ask him or her to give some kind of ointment some kind of medication and that will help get rid of your acne and once you are comfortable you might start understanding okay you have to stop doing this with your acne you have to stop doing that with your acne and ultimately you can stop the dermat's meds when you feel it's correct this might feel tad bit more serious when i'm explaining it to you and trust me it is please please be careful about all this acne things because you might not have acne when you were a teenager but you can start battling with acne when you are in your 20s because of maybe a stress factor maybe uh, you starting uh, started eating out more since you are earning or maybe since you have started going to college and you, you are you know stepping in that adulthood <laughs> let's not be doctors let's go to a doctor and ask him or her to help you out okay so i hope it doesn't sound like a lecture even if it is it is a good kind of lecture so please listen to me number 9 is do not over pluck your eyebrows do not overdo your eyebrows what i mean by that please stop with those earthworm lines on your forehead those two like thin line on your forehead those eyebrows are not meant for you eyebrows that suits your face is naturally grow near your forehead the kind of eyebrow shape that you naturally have is usually what suits your face and it is sort of like a natural miracle that happens is the kind of eyebrow shape that you have is unique to your face avoid going to aunties who are making those thin lines on your eyes and it is painful to look at if you are doing it yourself don't over pluck your eyebrows what you can do instead is if there are no good parlor aunties around you you can consider shaving your face and then shaving your eyebrows according to your face shape stay a line or two away from your eyebrow and then shave it and then slowly try and see what shape um, naturally is suiting your face you can pluck your eyebrows it doesn't hurt that much trust me if you are sensitive you can ice your eyebrows and then pluck it it helps a lot do not overdo your eyebrows in 20s there are a lot of people who will suggest you all the wrong things in life eyebrows are not to be messed with trust me you screw up your eyebrow one single time it will be worse than having a bad haircut please be careful of who is doing your eyebrows or you do it yourself and don't over pluck don't overdo your eyebrows the last the 10 tips and the most basic but the most important tip i would give to a 20 year old or my 20 year old self is have a good skin care routine now I'm saying give my 20 year old self but trust me I was very very aware of what I should do in my 20s I was taking care of my skin and hence in my 30s hopefully my skin will be much better than what it was in my 20s the more you take care of your skin in your 20s it helps you over the time it helps you maybe 10 years down the line it will help you it will show uh, so the most basic thing you can do is cleanse cleaning your face second is putting moisturizer and third is putting sunscreen these are the three most important things you can do for your face otherwise there's pigmentation that happens there can be skin cancer that happens there can be dullness that can happen dehydrated skin is also a thing guys but dehydration is also because of drinking less water start drinking water maybe a liter more than required and uh, trust me it shows on your face and your hair it looks much hydrated you look very glowy start looking into infused waters things which are healthier don't mix your sodas and juices and syrups and water that is not going to help you and the most basic routine is don't forget 
cleanse moisturize sunscreen after this 10 points i feel i have given a piece of my advice to a younger person or to my younger self i really hope that you guys put in that kind of work that is needed to in yourself it is a form of self-care it is a form of self-love which is absolutely absolutely essential if you really like this video don't forget to like yeah because if you don't like and you don't subscribe it is not going to help me understand what kind of content you're liking because there are people there are friends there are relatives there are friends of friends who have come to me and told me that hey i really liked your video you should continue making that video but if you don't guys don't like you guys don't subscribe people like me who want to create content don't feel motivated enough to uh, actually make more content uh, so please 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 don't forget to like and subscribe it's the best thing that you can do to support any kind of content creator and uh, it helps it really really helps so i really hope you do that and don't forget to stay tuned i am planning to come up with so much more content for you guys take care i hope you like my video thank you so much bye bye